There are two common types of throttles on electric scooters. The thumb lever throttle and the trigger style throttle. Most entry and lower level scooters have thumb throttles while mid to high end scooters typically have one of these two controllers, both of which have trigger throttles. I'm making this video because there is a misconception being perpetuated throughout the electric scooter community that thumb lever throttles are objectively better than trigger style throttles. In this video, I want to compare trigger and thumb throttles and show why trigger throttles are my personal favorite style of throttle. I want to be clear that I own scooters with both types of throttles, so my analysis and opinions are coming from personal experience. The biggest complaint that I hear about trigger accelerators is that they are uncomfortable and awkward to use. The most common mistake I see from people getting a new high-end scooter or upgrading to one is the angle of the controller and the throttle on their handlebars. I too often see people with the controller almost completely upright on the bars. This orientation is clearly not even remotely ergonomic. All it takes is a correct size Allen key, which should be on the multi-tool most companies send you with your scooter, and in 5 seconds you can adjust it to a more appropriate position. Now your hand can rest in a more comfortable natural position allowing you to ride longer and have more control. The amount of videos and photos I have seen of the controllers completely upright is concerning to me. This is not intended to be a call out or a criticism, but rather something that I want to shed light on. I want to avoid misinformation and incorrect use of a product. If you genuinely prefer to have your throttle in the upright position, then so be it. But it seems to me that the same people who complain that more scooters don't have thumb throttles are the same people who have their trigger throttles in an awkward, uncomfortable position. Now that it's in a more horizontal position, it can seem that the display is hard to see. But to that, I say try it. I have my display almost tilted away from me and still have no issues reading the display. With the throttle in the correct position, you'll quickly find that the ability to control how much you pull the trigger is easy. When compared to thumb throttles, trigger throttles allow for much greater control when deciding how much power to give the scooter, and that control can be kept for a much longer period of time without fatigue. Another thing that I often hear is that thumb levers allow you to keep all your fingers on the handlebars, thus giving you more control. While this sounds good in theory, in practice, I've noticed two things. First, trigger throttles allow you to keep your thumb wrapped around the handlebar, something you can't do with a thumb throttle. This more than makes up for not having your index finger on the handlebars. And second, as someone with a mountain biking background, I can't help but liken riding with a trigger throttle to mountain biking downhill with one finger on the brakes. As any mountain biker would tell you, Maintaining control with only some of your fingers on the handlebars is not only possible, but much easier than you would think. Maintaining control of a scooter with a finger on the throttle while hitting a bump in the road is quite stable and safe. This isn't to say that all thumb throttles are bad or that you can't prefer thumb throttles. Thumb throttles are much more intuitive and help separate the act of accelerating from the act of braking by having a separate and distinct motion for each one. My biggest gripe with thumb levers is that I find my hand cramping and fatiguing much quicker when I use them. The thumb levers require a constant flex of the hand to keep activated, and pressing the throttle just slightly for lower speeds will force the hand into a weird position. Trigger style throttles require next to no use of the finger muscles rather simply requiring the movement of the finger towards yourself. I can comfortably maintain a lower speed just by pressing the throttle halfway down with little to no fatigue. Ultimately, what style of throttle you end up with usually comes down to which model of scooter you choose. Throttle style is definitely something to consider when buying a scooter, but shouldn't weigh heavily into what scooter you decide to get. I hope that this video was informative and shed some light on lesser considered aspects of trigger and thumb throttles. Let me know what kind of throttle you prefer down in the comments and be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.